Every year, roughly 170,000 breast cancer patients in the U.S. will undergo surgery to remove cancerous tissues. Yet as many as 20% of these patients will have a second surgery known as re-excision to remove lingering malignant cells. But new technology aimed at helping doctors and patients obtain clean margins in a single surgery and prevent re-excision is gaining attention. Here to discuss this further is Dr. Roshni Rao, the chief of the breast surgery program at the New York Presbyterian Columbia University Irving Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Stephanie. So one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime with thousands of patients opting for a lumpectomy rather than a mastectomy. First, I want to ask what is the difference between these two? Yeah, so for most women who have a small cancer, they have one of two options. A lumpectomy is where we remove just that part of the breast that has the tumor in it. We need to get a rim of normal tissue around the edges, that's what we call margins, and it generally has to be followed by some form of radiation. The other option, and what we've been doing for over 100 years, is what's called a total mastectomy, and that's where we remove the entire breast. Most women who, if they have a total mastectomy, don't need radiation, but they do have the option of getting reconstruction. Some women are unaware that almost 20% of patients who undergo this procedure will end up returning for a second surgery. Why does this happen? Yeah, so we know that if we look at those two procedures that we just talked about, the survival between those two, as far as our ability to cure the cancer, is exactly the same. There's a small difference, though, in what we call recurrence. Recurrence is the risk of the cancer coming back within that breast. If you do a lumpectomy followed by radiation, you have to get clear margins, as in you have to be able to look under the microscope and see that the margins don't have any tumor. And if you don't get that, then you have to take those patients back to the operating room to make sure that you've cleared those margins. Now, CubTech Medical Imaging developed a 3D technology that has been shown to lower re-excision rates. How does this work? So when we look at patients who have a lumpectomy across the country, we find a fair amount of what we call variation. There's differences in how often the patients have to go back. Now, some of it you can't control. Some of it may be just based on the type of tumor or uh, the specific uh, imaging that the patient may have or may not have gotten. But we do know that there are ways to what we call reduce the re-excision. We find rates from 5% in some places and in some surgeons to 20% in other places with other surgeons. And one of the ways that we use that technology at New York Presbyterian is called CubTech. And it, what it does is it takes, after we remove the tumor, we take essentially an image, an x-ray of what we've removed. And that image is 3D. So it allows us to really focus in on what areas the tumor may be close. And we can immediately take more tissues in those locations, minimal, small amounts of tissues, to clear those margins so the patients don't have to go back to the operating room especially to prevent the spread of those cancerous cells. Now, how can patients find out if their surgeon is using this imaging technology? Yeah, so there are three questions that I would recommend patients who are thinking about a lumpectomy or having to make these difficult decisions ask their surgeons. Um, one of them is that what is your re-excision rate? And I think sometimes people are afraid to ask that question, but I think it's important to know that so you can, to some extent, have an expectation of what are the chances that you yourself may have to go back. And that second operation is performed several weeks later. Uh, the second question that you need to ask is what do you do to make sure that your margins are clear? And there are different techniques that you can use. We do cavity shave margins at Columbia. You can also use cup techno technology, which allows us to do a 3D image of the tumor. Uh, you can also ask your surgeon, the third and most important question is, how many of these do you do a year? We know that there is a correlation between volume and how well you get those margins and how well the patients survive. And that's an important question to ask your surgeon as well. Dr. Roshni Rao, thank you so much again for informing us on this type of treatment and what to ask a surgeon if someone is in this position. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.